Hi everyone, this is Hachi from Hachiko EXE, and I'm going to teach you how to set up your overlay for your Team Tilt to 5 fundraiser. This tutorial video is going to be specifically for the Team Tilt to 5 fundraiser that I am running with my team for two various trans charities. Um, however, it, it should also apply to you. Like, it's not really that different between team fundraisers and uh, this should help you. Um, I guess we're just the example. Um, so you're going to want to log in. You're going to want to hit to your dashboard. You go to teams. Or team. This is your team page. And you're going to want to go to campaigns. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure while you're at this screen uh, that you coordinate with the extension that you're using for Twitch to collect funds if you're doing that. Um, because, uh, the overlay, uh, and the extension don't sync. You have to go into the extension and choose the fundraiser that you're fundraising for. So the button will be there on your Twitch page and people can click on it to donate it. If you're doing, um, a QR code, um, let me see if I can, like so, that's our QR code. If you're doing a QR code like that, um, and you're not necessarily like even using Twitch or you're um, choosing to drop the link in your chat instead, uh, you don't even need, need to worry about that. But yeah, just double check to make sure you have the right one. For example, mine's going to be Fight for Texas. Perfect. Now we're here. Um, to get the overlay that you want for your stream, you're going to go to overlays. Um, I don't know if these come up for y'all or if they just come up for me. These are two that I've made. Um, but I'm going to show you all how to make a new overlay real quick. We'll start with a blank slate. So now you're here. This is gonna be what your overlay looks like. Let me get rid of these trees. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Trees fine. Um. All right. This shows the this shows the, what the overlay looks like. And basically, it's going to be sort of like a transparent film. Uh, for your '90s kids, you can think of the overhead projectors that you used to have in like middle or elementary school. Um. It's a transparent film that goes over your stream. And Tiltify is going to give you a URL, and you're going to enter that into your streaming program. However, we're not worried about that right now. We're just setting it up. It gives you a lot of interesting stuff to work with in regards to, like, you know, like, if you want to have, like, an event list of, like, your top donors. Um, the alert box is necessary, in my opinion. Um, that, uh... That tells people when people donate. Let's get let's get the let's get the coolest sparkle dog possible. Yeah. So we got our we got our cool sparkle dog. Um a lot of this is very customizable. You can choose what kind of animations you want. You can I think even upload your own GIFs. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. There's a wide range of things and it takes a lot of the picking process out of it for you. Um, we're gonna hit, we're gonna test a donation. I like to do, like, two bucks, and then two. You can choose whether or not you want sound. There's a bunch of different sounds and stuff. I forgot to turn on my desktop audio, so you're not going to hear it. Uh, so we're going to pretend that I didn't <laughs> do that. Um, okay. I Okay, there's three different overlays that I really like for this. Um, there's the classic, there's the beta, and then there's the compact. I use the compact personally, which looks like... But bam. Like that. Um, but, like, you don't have to. 
Um, the beta the beta overlay is great. You can just slap that across the top, change the colors around, choose what fonts you like. It has information up here, tells about your donors and stuff. Um, I like I like sorting donations by amount. I like the little settings that they do where you can prioritize top donors and stuff. Um, but each overlay is going to be different. As long as you have a progress bar, you should be set. A progress bar in the work. Um, there's nothing really more I want to add. I want to keep it really simple, mostly because like this is going to go on top of my streaming layout, or hypothetically, this is going to go on top of my streaming layout already. And I really don't want to make it too complicated and have too many bells and whistles because like that can interfere with the stuff that I already have. And this is this is all about making as little as possible so that we can focus on streaming and raising money. So we're gonna save changes. Wait a second. I saved that over my previous overlay, didn't I? No. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, that that's something I should probably take note of. Uh, it'll let you name it the same thing. Name them different things. Don't let it. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Um, different. So we have this one. We have our test donation. We're gonna send four right now just to look at it. You can see in the top right here as they pop up. This is the last step. You copy that overlay URL. That URL is a browser source. It is a web page that exists on the internet somewhere. And it looks like this. So, like, you see how, like, the page stretches and I have to, like, scroll and shit? That is because it's bigger than this web browser window. Um, because it is as big as my entire screen. So when you set your overlay, um, for Twitch or through whatever program you're using, um, make sure make sure you put it to the top and you make sure that it's like full size make sure it's like cover, covering over it just like the, the screen on a projector um and you shouldn't really have any problems i i've had issues testing it like through like copying the overlay url putting it into obs and like actually making the uh, alerts go off and you can let me know in the comments if i'm like doing something wrong or if you know something better than me um i just wanted to get this up so that people could see um but once you have this overlay you should be set and if you'll want i'll make a second tutorial video where i show you how to add the extension on twitch all right thank you all for for checking this out and i really appreciate the overwhelming outpouring of support uh that we have gotten so far for fundraising for these trans kids um, a big thanks to everybody who has shared my posts and just talked about what we were doing and like my team for just being there, like and being ready to go from day one, um, and just putting their best foot forward. Like y'all have been awesome, and I I can't I can't even put into words how incredible this all has been. Um, anybody's had any questions, you were never um any trouble to me. Uh, it is never a problem for me for me to answer questions for you in regards to this. You all are trying to help out, and you deserve praise for that. And I'm here to help you. Goodbye.